Hi folks, welcome back to ABC, which is of course an Elevate channel. Now first of all, a bit of housekeeping, a uh, quick apology to my regular subscribers. I've not had a video up now for about 8 days. About 8 days ago, whilst I was doing some work on my laptop, I decided I would pull my cup of coffee straight into the keyboard, thus blowing it up more or less. So I had no laptop, got a brand new laptop. I've had about 4 days now, I've been playing around with my settings, with my um, calibrated monitor, with my lights and my camera. I'm not quite happy myself. I can't quite tell if I've got this set right. So if you're a regular subscriber and you've watched my videos regularly, please let me know down below in the comments if the lighting is right, if the colour is right, because I'm not quite too sure. My monitor shows one thing. If I play it on a different thing, it shows a slightly different colour. I think the lighting's right. I think the colour's right. But like I said, if you watch me regularly, let me know in the comments down below if it needs to be more brighter or more colour. Um, today's review is going to be for a little pod kit I got for a free F8. It's going to be the Demon Killer J-Box pod kit. This is going to be a really small little pod kit. It feels like a little Zippo lighter in my hand. It's going to take dual size, dual style pods. These pods are refillable, but they are compatible with a dual. And likewise, dual pods are compatible with the box itself. So if you are a real dual fan, you like the dual pod flavours, but you want something different, then why not get this one? Put your dual pod inside it. Something different, a bit funky. Comes in two colours, comes in black and white. Mine obviously is going to be a black one. So yeah, let's go down, have a quick look, show you around it, come back up again. See you in a minute. Okay, here we are with the packaging that the J-Box comes in. It's a little white box. Indicate that mine is going to be black. You can get this in black or white. Got the little Demon Killer logo. Demon Killer on J-Box. On this side, just a barcode. On this side, J-Box mod. On this side, Demon Killer. On this side, is blank. On the back, it just shows what's inside the kit. You get one J-Box battery, one user manual, one USB cable, and one lanyard. There is no um, pods included in the kit. You have to buy them separately. They come in packs of fours in a little box like this, which I'll show you later on. So yeah, let's have a quick look inside the box, shall we? So inside the box, you can get a little J-Box battery. Like I said, mine's in black. This is available in black or white. And underneath the battery, you're going to find a little micro USB cable, a little lanyard, and a little instructions. Very simple instructions this, tells you about how to fill the pods, how to insert the pods, and what the battery lights indicate, which I'll go through in a second with you. But yeah, very easy this one. As you can see, this is going to be really, really tiny. This reminds me of the old days of having a Zippo lighter. It's going to be in height. 60.0 or 60 millimeters width. It's going to be 41 and then the thickness or the depth shall I say is going to be 13.5 really really small little pod system this is going to be a 420 milliamp battery inside this on the side here we have a little slider to raise and lower the pod which I'll show you in a second on the top we have a little slide port to open where the pod goes in so literally you would just slide this open and inside here is where your pod's going to go. Use this little thing to slide it up. Insert your pod inside it. Vape on it when you want to. As you're vaping, there will be a set of lights coming on here, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, vape on it. When you finish vaping, you can actually slide this down. The pod will go inside the device. You can then close it up, keeping it all nice and clean. On this side here, we do have two little holes for the lanyard. That comes with it, obviously. And on the bottom, we have a micro USB charge cable. Um, that's basically all it is. On the other side, it does say J-Box, obviously. There's no venting, but the amount of holes in this, it really doesn't need to be vented at the bottom because these are all really open slots, and open air holes here. But like I said, if you're looking for something really, really small, this really is a small little device. Now, the pods this takes is going to be the same size pods as the dual 
so this is compatible with any dual pods and likewise these really refillable pods you can actually use these on a dual as well which is quite good because you've got a dual and you like the flavors but you want something different you can use this instead use a dual pod put it inside and vape on it how it works is like i showed you just open up the port here to reveal the hole use a slider to slide it up hold your finger there to keep it in place get your little pod push it inside you get a little blue flashing light to show you that it's inserted properly. When you're vaping and when you finish vaping, this blue light will stay on for a second and it will go off. There is then going to be three little white lights, which is hard to show you because I've got a vape on it and it's hard to vape on it and then get it back down to the camera in time because it's only a few seconds. But yeah, there'll be three lights here, three little dots, one, two and three. When all three are lit, it means that the battery is up between 4.2 to 3.9 volts. When there's only two lights, it's going to be between 3.8 to 3.6. When there's one light, it will be 3.5 volts. And then when it gets below 3.2 volts, the white light will flash 10 times and it will go off. And you can't use it anymore. This does have built-in protection. It has short circuit protection. It has 10 second cutoff. So you can vape for 10 seconds and it will stop automatically. It's very light. It's not expensive feeling, but then again, for the price, this cost me nine pounds from free of ape on free of Ape's website it's going to be eleven dollars it's about nine pound and for a pack of four refillable pods these going to be 0.7 mil capacity 1.5 ohm ceramic coils there's four in a packet and it's cost six dollars or about four pound eighty so yeah inside the box you can find a little packet like this with four empty pods just open this up I've already used one, that's just a silicon end for the one I've already used. So each pod comes separately. Take out an empty pod, and underneath the pod, you will find a little black silicon bung. Take that as well, you do need that later on. I'll put it there for now. Now if you've used um, a dual before, you know how these work. Very simple. Remove that part there to reveal the contact points for when you insert it into the J-box itself. Now on the top here, here's your mouthpiece going straight down to the coil. Right now it's very open, but when you put that little bung in, it'll be different. Unlike, a, unlike the um, dual pod where it's not refillable, this one, just pop it off. As you pop it off, it will reveal a really open area for you to put your juice in. It will only hold 0 0.7 mils, but actually 0 0.7 mils in this little thing lasts quite long actually. So literally you just put your juice in one side here. The air will come out this side. Don't fill above this little mark here on the chimney. There's a little ridge here. Fill up to that point there. When it's filled, the cold is steady. Get your little silicon bung. Pop it on it. Like so. That is now sealing that. You will then just put your mouthpiece back on. Push down it, it'll click slightly. And that's it in. And as you can see, it's not as open now. I've already got one here, like I said. I'm going to refill this quickly. So, literally, pull it out. This is one bad point, which I'll talk about later, is this part here where you put the pod inside. It's not really grippy. It does stay in most of the time, but sometimes I have occasionally put it away, put it back, gone to vape on it, and it's not recognised as a pod there. I've had to just sort of hold it there and just push the pod in slightly. So, yeah, to fill this up, very simple pull off the mouthpiece it does there's a little plastic click there but you put your finger underneath it and pull and it will come off and then there's your silicon bung take that out this one is a bit fiddly i must say i usually use like a toothpick for me and like i said there we are gonna refill this i've been using skipper which is a tobacco vape from rope cut this is going to be a 20 milligram Nick Salt base, which I've been enjoying with this pod system. And um, Vape Demon in the UK sent me three bottles, three by ten of different flavors to try. That will be my next review. So yeah, this is a nice, really nice tobacco vape. Like I said, it's 20 milligrams Nick Salt. So just put your little nozzle in there, fill it up. Sometimes it doesn't go both sides straight away, so I just do it slowly up to that line. 
and then stop. Get your little rubber bung. Push it back aside. Pulling your mouthpiece. And there you go. It's nice that you can vape on this and then when you finish, push it away inside, close it up and that mouthpiece is protected from any dirt or fluff from your pockets. Really, really nice. Like I said, really like a really small, it does remind me of the old days when I used to use zipper lighters. That is exactly how it feels. Exactly the sort of size it is. Really, really nice. That was a J box from Demon Killer. Let's go back up top. Have a quick vape. Have a quick talk. Okay, so there we are. That was a close for the J box from Demon Killer. What's my thoughts on this? I'm going to go through my good points first. Good points wise, it is a really compact, small little pod kit. It does feel like an old zipper lighter in my hand. I like the fact that you can slide the bar down, put the pod inside it, close it off, put it inside your pocket, and it won't get any dirt inside the mouthpiece. Also, the fact that when you slide it up, it does have a little light indicator to show you the amount of batteries you've got left inside it. You can put it on a little lanyard, which they provide to hang around your neck, if you like that sort of thing. And also the fact that the um, charge point is at the side, not at the bottom. There is no venting holes at the bottom, but this is so open everywhere, it doesn't really need it. The bad points are going to be the coils and the pods themselves. These coils are 1.5 ohm. It says ceramic on the box. It doesn't say what the wire is. Um, for the coils that they're using, this is a bit underpowered. It's not producing a lot of vapour, as you can see. It is sufficient for a pod, but if you like a really dense vape, you're not going to get it with this one. It's a bit underpowered for that. And also these pods, they are easy to fill. And even though they're only 0.7 mil capacities, it still lasts quite a while. But my problem is that when you put the pod inside it, it's not really a firm click. As you can see, it just sort of sits in there. Sometimes when you close it down, close it up, put your pocket, Take it out again, open it up, push out the pod. Sometimes that time is okay, but sometimes it's come out slightly. All you need to do then is just hold that little slide up and just push down on the pod slightly. You can vape on it. But yeah, like I said, these coils are a bit too overpowerful for what this can produce. The vape is nice, the flavor is nice, but it's really mild vape for a little out and about vape a little discreet vape now and again in certain places yeah the j box is okay just don't expect masses of clouds masses of vapor it's what it is a small discreet little pod kit so that was the j box from demon killer guys hope like video did like the video Wanna give me a thumbs up? Did like it? Wanna subscribe down below to see more from me? If you do subscribe, hit the little bell to get notified of any new videos I do. And yeah, whilst you're here guys, down below in the description, there is links there for my Twitter, my Instagram, and my new Facebook group. Why don't you go follow me on Twitter or Instagram, or even on Facebook? Because like I said last week I had a laptop, I couldn't really put a post up on YouTube going on my phone I can still post on Twitter I can still post on Facebook if you follow me on Facebook in the Facebook group or on Twitter you can always be kept updated of any problems anything that's happening and then you'll know why I've not put a video out for a little while but yeah like I said I did manage to pour my whole cup of coffee in my laptop and the keyboard and that was it new laptop like I said if the lighting is fine if the colour is fine please let me know down below in the comments like I said, I'm having a bit of a problem. One monitor showing one thing, my display showing another thing. I hope it's okay for you guys, and I hope you've enjoyed your video. And yeah, guys and girls, I will say to you, like I always say to you, every time, I will see you all. Big breath. Next time.